My father always said that it's our dreams that reveal our deepest nature. If that is true, then I'm lost. Past Cure is a dark psychological thriller about a man desperate to find his past in order to save his future. The story is told through the dark dreams and twisted reality of Ian, a soldier suffering from severe memory loss and demonstrating a dangerous and unstable mental condition. Three years after going missing in action, Ian's found wandering the side of the road with no idea where he'd been, who took him or how he managed to escape. Since then he spent the last two years trying to recover his memory with the help of his brother Marcus, a wealthy doctor. Scared for his brother's safety, Marcus keeps Ian hidden in a secluded safe house in case his captors come looking for him again. But there's also another reason why Marcus is keeping Ian hidden. Since his disappearance, Ian has somehow gained some incredibly powerful mental abilities. He has the power to see time at a slower rate so that he can think and move faster than anyone around him and he can trigger out-of-body experiences so that he can explore the world around him without ever taking a step. But these abilities also come at a heavy price. His mind gets taken over by vivid hallucinations, dark, violent nightmares, and overuse of his powers leaves him with a crippling migraine. With such an unstable mind, Ian becomes reliant on a black market drug nicknamed the Blues. Ian becomes obsessed with one goal, trying to find out what happened to him and who did it. But after two years and no leads to follow on, Ian is starting to lose hope. But one night, everything changes. Every night, Ian dreams the same dream. He wakes up in a room with a single weapon and is constantly chased down by sinister figures made of porcelain. This one night, the cycle is broken when his dream is interrupted by a woman a woman he thinks he's seen before, but can't remember. He doesn't manage to get to her before the dream ends, but her arrival signals the start of a dramatic course of events. The following day, Marcus calls Ian with a lead on the medication that's keeping him alive. A large quantity of the drug is going to be sold not too far away. If Ian can reach the seller before the buyers do, he might have a chance of tracking the medication back to where it was made. The problem is that the buyers are an incredibly dangerous organisation. Ian knows he's possibly getting out of his depth. With his condition getting worse and his paranoia getting stronger, Ian starts to get the impression that his dreams and his reality are merging into one. Ian is therefore left with no choice but to infiltrate the deal and get to the makers of the medication before he succumbs to his powers for good. 